How to Stop Being Toxic and Build Healthy Relationships by Taylor Blake is a guide focused on helping individuals recognize and alter toxic behaviors that jeopardize personal relationships and overall well-being. Blake begins by emphasizing the importance of fostering self-awareness. Recognizing one's negative actions and their impact on others is the first crucial step towards transformation. The author insists that without self-awareness, it is impossible to understand the full extent of the detrimental influence we can have on the people around us. The book examines the various facets of toxic behavior, which can range from subtle manipulation and passive aggressiveness to more overt instances of control and narcissism. Toxic individuals often struggle with deep-seated insecurities and may project these feelings outward leading to cycles of negative interaction. Blake makes it clear that to stop being toxic, one needs to identify the root causes of such behaviors. Unresolved issues from past relationships, childhood experiences, or even deep-seated fears can be driving forces behind toxicity, resulting in a person acting out in ways that are protective, yet harmful. Shifting away from toxic habits requires individuals to work actively on improving their emotional intelligence. This means learning how to communicate effectively, manage emotions, and empathize with others. Blake discusses the concept of emotional intelligence extensively, outlining how it is critical for understanding ourselves and how we relate to others. Growth in emotional intelligence empowers people to break free from their toxic traits as it leads to better conflict resolution skills, an increased ability to express personal needs without harming others, and the capacity to listen and understand other perspectives. Toxic individuals often use manipulation as a tool to achieve their desires without considering the cost to others. The author brings light to various manipulative tactics, guilt tripping, gaslighting, playing the victim, and using charm to deceive, and instructs readers on how to cease these behaviors. By promoting honesty and transparency in communication, Blake suggests that individuals can begin to forge more genuine connections. Rather than seeking to control or sway others for personal gain, healthy relationships are predicated upon mutual respect, shared values, and open dialogue. Narcissistic behavior is another form of toxicity highlighted in the book. Narcissists are characterized by their excessive self-interest and lack of empathy. Blake offers guidance on how to dismantle narcissistic patterns by encouraging readers to develop empathy, challenge their sense of entitlement, and focus on appreciating others. Accepting that the world does not revolve around one's own needs is a significant step towards overcoming narcissism. Building self-esteem is also crucial in the fight against toxic behavior. Blake notes that low self-esteem can trigger defensive and aggressive behavior as individuals seek external validation. To combat this, the book provides strategies for boosting self-worth that do not rely on the opinions or actions of others. By fostering a positive self-image, developing personal goals, and practicing self-compassion, individuals can start to feel more secure, reducing the need to engage in toxic behaviors. Forgiveness, both of oneself and others, is a recurring theme. Holding on to past hurts or being unable to forgive oneself for mistakes can fuel ongoing toxicity. Blake expounds on the healing power of forgiveness, suggesting that letting go of grudges and self-judgment can pave the way for healthier interpersonal dynamics. By releasing the burden of the past, individuals can move forward with lighter hearts and a greater capacity for kindness and understanding. To replace toxic habits with healthier ones, the book provides actionable steps. This includes identifying triggers and developing coping mechanisms to deal with them setting boundaries, and practicing regular self-reflection. Blake suggests keeping a journal to track progress and feelings, which can be a potent tool for growth and self-understanding. The role of maintaining personal well-being is crucial in ensuring long-term success in breaking toxic cycles. Physical health, mental self-care, and spiritual growth are all parts of a holistic approach to well-being that can support the cessation of harmful behaviors. Engaging in regular exercise, seeking therapy, nurturing spirituality, or simply making time for rest can contribute to a balanced life and consequently healthier relationships. Restoring inner peace is a vital aspect of this transformative journey. 
Blake focuses on the importance of finding calm and contentment within oneself as the ultimate antidote to toxic behavior. Engaging in mindfulness, meditation, and relaxation techniques can all aid in achieving a serene state of mind. This peacefulness not only benefits the individual, but also touches the lives of those they interact with, encouraging positive and constructive relationships. Lastly, the author acknowledges that the process of change is continuous and requires dedication and patience. Relapses into toxic behavior can happen, but should not be a source of discouragement. Instead, they offer opportunities for learning and growth. Blake assures readers that with consistent effort and a willingness to evolve, anyone can leave toxicity behind and build a life filled with healthy, fulfilling relationships. Throughout How to Stop Being Toxic and Build Healthy Relationships, Taylor Blake provides readers with a compassionate yet straightforward roadmap to evaluate and alter damaging behaviors. By promoting self-awareness, emotional intelligence, empathy, and self-care, Blake assures that it is possible to move past toxicity. The journey requires dedication, but the reward is a more peaceful inner world and deeper, more authentic connections with others. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.